Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Now, I look like a mole rat with no eyebrows on because I'm doing the no mirror challenge. That's right, I'm going to put on my entire drag face without using any mirrors whatsoever. And to show you that I'm totally serial about this, I blocked out all the mirrors on my palette so there's no cheating. I am literally gonna do this all with no mirrors. And I have no monitor either, so I literally just have Ernie here watching the back of the camera. So, to make sure I don't cheat, because I totally would. Okay, now, let's get started and let's start putting some crap on my face. Let's see, let's start off with something safe. Let's do foundation, it's usually a good place to start. And just get a real good smear, like, gob of it, and a heart pressing it in. As I'm putting this on my face, I come to realize there's no way for me to check if this is blended properly. <laughs> so, this should be interesting. I might be like serving you some Freddy Krueger drag queen realness. Sexy Freddy Krueger. This would be the challenge to do like with a foundation that's really heavy on your skin because then you like know if you're wearing it or not. Okay, don't tell me how the foundation looks because I don't want to know. I feel like there's probably definite patches on my face that I missed. My arm is getting oddly tired for some reason. <laughs> it's like the added stress of not having a mirror. Okay, I think that's, I think I covered everything. Probably not, but I feel like I covered everything. Okay, let's do setting powder. Probably a lot more powder than I normally ever would use. Oh my God. I just wanna make sure it's all set. Clean brush and just sweep away any excess. We're gonna contour next. Now this one I feel like will probably be the best part of my makeup because I have a stencil I use. And just feel out where my cheekbone is. Yeah, it's about right there. All right, going with a Kat Von D. My cheekbone. I think that's where my cheekbone is. This is probably so uneven, oh my god. Okay. This one's gonna be so uneven, I can just feel it. I know one side can be darker than the other. Let's do our forehead. This one's pretty easy. Feeling pretty good about this so far, okay. I think I'll be able to leave this video knowing I contoured pretty good. And then I'll watch this back and think, what the hell was I thinking? gonna do eyes next so there it is okay got our little guy here go in with our dark okay so oh boy I don't even want to know how that's gonna look but we're just gonna go with God and hope for the best okay here so I'm thinking about right here is where I start let's just go in with colors why the hell not because I can't see it so there's no point in me trying to be precise all right Going with our Manny, and let's just go in with something dark. We'll do Mug. You know what's gonna be the super goop about this? Like, I'll go in with like no mirror, and so afraid, and I'll like, probably be like the best mug I've ever done on this channel. That's gonna be the result. It's like, oh, I've never looked better. Cause I can already feel it. I'm probably so beautiful right now. Let's do our highlight, cause I forgot to do that. Pack it on. Interestingly enough, as I do this, I'm like surprised by how much muscle memory I have. I like do the same face all the time. So like, I feel like I'm gonna be fairly good at this. <laughs> Crap, okay. There goes my lungs. I'm probably gonna sneeze. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh God. I don't know what it is. Like with this no mirror, I'm using a lot more product than I normally would. I mean, probably is not the like, you know, way to approach this challenge, but it is what it is. You're just gonna have to go with it. Okay. Um, cheekbone here. Maybe like that, maybe? Is it good? Don't tell me. Okay. I feel like it's good. Okay. Let's just do blush right away, too. Why not? There are no rules. Makeup. Do whatever I want. That's the blush face, in case you didn't know that. So you can poke your cheeks out like that. Hopefully it came out good, otherwise I'll probably look like Miss Piggy. So much rouge on the face. Let's do some more eyes. Let's get brave, and let's go in with our cream and try and cut a crease, because why not? Here we are, cream. 
probably not that much. Let's try and use as little as possible because a little bit goes a long way with this guy. I don't even want to know how these look. Okay, let's just set that with taco quick. Do I look crazy? Yeah, I bet I do. Okay, but you know what fixes everything? Glitter. So I'm gonna use this NYX glitter that I found at Ulta. It's the Glitter Gold. I haven't tried it yet, so let me just swatch one and see how it looks. This one looks pretty good. Ooh, yeah, okay. I'm feeling good about this. I don't know if this is a sheer application or not, but we're gonna find out. Where is my contour? There we go, let's do our nose. Okay. I feel like I came in this with such a good strategy. Like I'm using my fingers to like, you know, stencil out where I want to stop and stuff, which probably is going to work against me because my fingers are probably dirty. So we'll see how that works. Let's just blend that in case. I feel like that was probably really thick. All right, eyeliner. Let's see how this works. All right. Say your prayers. All right, here we go. Oh man, okay. Oh crap, okay. All right, I can feel where it's wet. Okay, it probably looks so crazy, oh my God. Okay, let's do the other side. Let's try and map this out. Okay. Well, I don't know how that looks, but I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go with some black eyeshadow. And whatever it looks like, we're just gonna try and disguise. I think it was pretty lofty of me to assume I could do eyeliner without a mirror. Okay, let's see. Oh, tape, let's do that. Okay. That, here. Hopefully this will cover up any negative space that I missed because I couldn't see it. I don't know why I didn't think about a smoky eye before. So much smarter an idea. We kind of have good ideas before I start doing makeup. Okay. This is probably all sorts of uneven. Okay. I don't know how this looks anymore. I had an idea in my mind when I first approached it, but now we're heading towards like the hard stuff and well, <laughs> it might be the worst I've ever looked on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even contain your laughter. Oh my god. I probably look horrible. I'm so excited to see this now. Oh my god. Something tells me she's gonna be surprised when she sees this look, judging from her eyebrows. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's do our under eyes, because maybe that'll be the nice part of this makeup. God, I never realized how hard it is to do this with a mirror. <laughs> ah, I stabbed myself in the eye like six times. Okay, eyeliner. Crap. <laughs> oh, I got a liner under my eye with no mirror. Um, um, let's, do the, let's do the thick one. Oh, crap. Oh. All right. All right. Let's do black again. It worked out so well the last time. Let's do black again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Let's see. How am I gonna go about this? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Does that work? Is it working? I don't even think I did. I even highlight my forehead. No. I don't think I did. Uh, let's just do that. What else do I need to do? I need eyes, foundation, cont lips. Let's do lips. For lips, I think I'm gonna do, um, hmm. Let's do a nude. Did I do nude last time? I don't feel like I did. Here we go. <sighs> okay. I don't know what that looks like, but it's gonna be fun to see. All right. Let's do the Soraya Jade collection from Hot Topic. I'll just do this color Jordan, because it smells nice and it's pretty too. Let's just. 
Hell and our left. All right, I don't, just don't tell me anymore. Okay, let's do some eyeshadow quick. Let's see, we did pink last time. I'm thinking maybe purple, since we did a, a nude lip. Why not? Let's do this guy from Sugar Pill. Uh, stick it all in there, why not? I feel like it's got that in my eyebrow, crap. Okay, just look as real and start blending ourselves out. Do our nose. Why not, you know? Let's do our highlight and lashes, and I think we might be done. I feel like I've done everything. And I really want to see how this looks so I can take it all off. Our highlight. Oh, see, this I like, because this spot never changes. Hopefully it'll fix whatever I messed up. Maybe. And I feel like I just want to throw glitter everywhere. Okay, let's do this fun pink one. Dig on in there, okay. It's like children's finger painting. Eyelashes and then I'm done. All right, eyelashes without a mirror. This is gonna be fun, you guys. Oh my God, I can't wait. Let's see. Oh, I'm missing the lash adhesive. Let's just pack on all the adhesive we can. The good thing is that my lashes are so dirty that like they're already in like the shape of my eye, so I just have to adhere them in the right place, which, you know, it's like pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the lash on the donkey. Okay, I can feel that gluing my eye shut, so this is gonna be interesting to see. Alright, I don't know about you, but I feel beautiful. I probably have never looked more beautiful. All right, I have done my full face of drag. I am going to uncover my mirrors and see how I look. I have a strong feeling that I look gorgeous right now. Big reveal. Slow like a Band-Aid. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. <gasps> oh God, I look horrible. <laughs> What is this? Why did you guys tell me I'm missing a full lip? And I look like, oh my gosh. You know, the eyes, the eyebrows are horrible. I'll go right now. My eyeliner is pretty bad. <laughs> and I have, my nose is right over here for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like, you know, a game of operation was taking place on my face. And everyone was hitting the side of the walls. Oh gosh, yeah. Well, <laughs> this was a fun challenge. Um, I don't think I'll ever do that again. The closest I've ever gotten to a challenge like this was when I had to do my makeup in the complete dark at a wrestling show and they turned out all the lights. So I had to basically do my makeup under a small like little mirror with a flashlight. And I feel confident that I never want to experience this again. So thank goodness I have mirrors and if I ever go blind, well, I guess I'm gonna go back to puppetry. All right, let me try and throw a drag look together that goes along with a look like this. I'll be right back. Welcome back. You are watching the later scenes of Death Becomes Her. Oh God. Okay, folks, let me just say, I didn't have high hopes for this challenge, but they were higher than this. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I didn't even look this bad when I first started drag. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't even know what these eyebrows are. They're like all the way in my hairline. Let's, let's try and fix a little bit of it. I think, um, maybe rub that away. Oh gosh. I feel like the only thing that's gonna fix this is like a makeup wipe. Let's see, let me just give myself an eyebrow at least. My God. This is what I get for trying to be on trend with all the other people. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do this challenge and I'm gonna look so beautiful and everyone is gonna love it. And it may just be my new way of doing makeup. Just no mirrors at all. Just showing how talented I am as a makeup artist. So you know what? Let this be a lesson for all of you folks. Even the mighty can have bad days. It's true. Someone as elite as myself can sometimes have an off day when it comes to makeup. But just know, bear in mind, the odds had to be stacked against me, you know, in order for me to fail. <laughs> That's probably the best I'm gonna get without, you know, a full on chemical peel. And let me just put my lip back on, God. 
I have a whole missing chunk of my lip. Like, how did I miss that? Oh gosh. That's a little embarrassing. I got the whole bottom lip though, so you know, there's that. Okay, and just a little eyeliner. You know, it is what it is. Okay, I tried. All right, kittens, this has been my attempt at the nail mirror makeup challenge. And let me just say, I failed. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do have merchandise available down below, so be sure and click the links down below if you'd like to own some Jane's Fansfield merch. And until next time, bye. Oh God. Bye. Click here and see me do the Dollar Tree makeup challenge or see how I spent over $500 at Fashion Nova. Come on, click it. If you don't click it, I'm gonna throw all your stuff outside. I'm not gonna ask again. Click it.